think white tea might be a cousin of sorts to green tea. I hope you realize how obvious of a statement that sounded like. I realized I was walking on eggshells, yes. Standard sphere grid, please. Original music. I love that that's an option. In both uh, 10 and 12. talk about how Titus has a fucking eidetic memory. Yeah, he do be kind of smart, though. Listen to my story as I recite it word for word. Listen to my story as I quite literally not only recall the events, but manipulate the past as I change the events. <laughs> To be fair, there's not a whole lot of backtracking you can do. True. N until you beat Unaleska, that is. Which, the story has caught up to the present by then. I hate when games offer... Listen to my story. ...cosmetics that are just... You know what I mean? Uh, no, I don't. What do you mean by price walls? So, uh, a price walls is essentially just a price you have to pay to unlock something. Which is fine, that's fine, that's how a lot of games make their money, like Apex. For Apex, you know, like, 20 bucks is a skin. 20 bucks is 2,000 coins, 2,000 coins is a skin. What would be annoying is if 20 bucks was 2,000 coins, but a legendary skin was 2,100. Essentially forcing you to overpay for the skin by having to buy extra currency that you aren't going to use, you know? Mm -hmm. That's the idea. Do you know making a bed while holding a controller attached to your headset is awkward? Did you know doing anything while holding your controller attached to your headset is awkward? No. You no. need to finish an entire sentence while yawning through the entirety of it is, uh, awkward. Ah! My wrist gave out. Thank God I had something soft to fall on. Alright, Titus, get your awkward flirting done. Of course. Damn it, I have to misspell bitch. Damn it, I can't put a misspelling of bitch. B-I-C-H? I only have three spaces to work with after basic. B-C-H.
There we go. Basic bitch. Good luck tonight. Nothing to worry about. Oh, if I score a goal, I'll uh, do this. That will mean it was for you. Okay. <laughs> what seat? He's blocking the front row. It's from the right. Got it. Also, going back to Titus's eidetic memory, no he remembers what seats those girls All at right. the beginning of the game were in. Me too. Take it easy. Or at least that they were fifth from the right. He's just a real Chad, you know? Yep. How did this game get made with his CG model not having blue eyes? You can't tonight. I mean tomorrow. Promise? Promise. At least ten two fixed that. The only reason ten two was a good game. There's not much wrong with it. I mean, despite the fact that dress spheres are incredibly unbalanced? Not necessarily. They're only broken if you get the mascot one. Which you gotta jump through hoops no matter which method you choose to get it by. And even that, they're only excessively broken if paired with the bright <laughs> dress sphere. I was in a coffee shop running away from home when I heard the news. Our hero, checked, gone, banished. So I believe the there's a dress sphere that. <laughs> My dad must have been his biggest fan. I knew how sad he'd be. Heck, we all. I know at least uh, raises myself, your you maximum HP to. I went running straight back home. Ninety-nine thousand. Make way, make way. Coming through. Sorry. Hey, I'm gonna be late. Hey, let go of me. Ten two is just as easily broken by giving yourself. A lot of fucking luck. I Which think game's broken when you max out the luck stat. I'm not talking about 255. Just maybe 115. Hell, I don't even think where my furthest save sits, I can max out anyone's luck. Unless there's a dress fear that increases your luck, but I don't think there is. And even if there is, I still think I'd prefer the dress fear that gives both your defenses a 20% or Twenty points of a two fifty five maximum is not quite twenty percent. I'd argue not even close. Never mind. Point being, I find defense for bosses a lot more worth it than luck. Although that could be what I attempt to do in this. 
My only goal, max out everyone's luck. That's one thing I think you'd enjoy about the Peeper Men mod. It's hard to set up. I've been trying to set it up for a while now. But on top of making magic not fall out, uh, he makes it to where you can't just get by by increasing your luck. I'm assuming it can still be broken if going to 255. Or there's some complication that must arise from that scenario, but... Convince me otherwise. I can't. That would be lying. <laughs> <laughs> the closest equivalent in another Final Fantasy game to Arn I can think of is Gladio. Pain. Huh? Only in personality, okay? It begins. And is it you know, also a Bushido? Oh god. Damn it, now I have to fucking recheck what the mascot dress spheres give everyone. Because that assigns everyone other classes than their base. The? Huh? the only discrepancy being hey, wait. Yuna's mascot dress sphere gives her sword play abilities, which are the warrior's dress sphere, which is Payne's default dress sphere. But according to mascot, dress sphere pain is the. I can't remember if she's the black mage or not. I'll just fucking look it up. Stop trying to talk from memory. Dress Fear does not start with a T. Contrary to popular belief, yeah. That's true. Expand. I see you listing the fucking abilities. Okay, it expanded. According to the mascot dress sphere, Pain is the black mage, Riku is the white mage. Yes. According to that, she's the Bushido. Which, admittedly, I should have guessed paired with the Black Mage. Don't bother going after all. Fun fact about the beginning fight with all the Sin Scales. They aren't coded to attack. After the first attack that they throw at you. So in theory, 
and and practice in my case you can get the slayer warrior uh, overdrive modes from them and then the first boss can't kill you so you can use that to Well, no. You can use that Sin Scale fight to also get the Daredevil Overdrive mode. Doesn't Daredevil require you to get hit? Yeah, but you can do that yourself. Does that count? As long as you get to that health, all that that Overdrive states is every turn that passes while you're in critical health. The same with the loner as well. Yeah, but no one uses loner. There are niche scenarios where it's helpful. So it's not useful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just it's, gives it. Yeah. It's well, the only scenario that I think loner could even be viable is that pseudo boss fight with another boss that can't kill you by the way that uh fish in the Bosch temple or doing Riku only nemesis yeah But I'm trying to think of scenarios outside of self-imposed challenges. Also with no custom weapons. And the self-imposed rule of no ultimate weapons. Celestial. There we go. That's their name. No celestial weapons. I can still get access to break damage limit, I think. I think Nemesis can drop break damage limit weapons. Plus you can get uh, what's essentially going to be the Helter Skelter. From beating Don Tomberry, yes. He drops uh, weapons with all sorts of fucking strikes. But that being said, Stone and Death Strike are the only two that are really game-breaking. I mean, it's always fun to have Zombie Strike on there for no reason. Yeah, but Zombie Strike has its uses. Example, the custom weapon choice for No Sphere Grid Broska's Final Aeon. Jet. Yeah. Well, I don't know if in code, but the boss's name is Broska's Final Aeon. Just called Jet in game. No. I think that makes sense, though, because it's, it's about Yuna's journey, not Titus's. Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. But even then, she knew Jet by name. Huh? It's about the cycle, not about anyone's story. Break, man. Despite very specifically being about Yuna. And, you know, t tend to retconning Titus' death. Kind of retconning Titus' death. He's still dead. Yeah, but with the ending of 10-2, Titus realizes he never actually existed. Until he came to Spira. Well, that doesn't make sense, considering he was a well-known football player for the Xanarka Knaves. Xanarka Knaves? Right? Xanarka Knaves? That, yeah. That iteration of the Xanarka Knaves didn't exist. Well, it's impossible. Walker recognized the Xanarka Knaves. I said that iteration of. Like, the roster. This could be bad. 
the team itself existed, yes. But not Titus's team. Ex Titus, or Titus, Jet wasn't a real person until he came to Spira. But then that would imply that Yuna's dad, Braska, right? Mm -hmm. That's Yuna's dad? Yep. That would imply that he never had an actual final A on then. No, because Jet was a real person once he came to Spira. And it's actually only because he's from the Dream Xanarkin that he was able to orchestrate this entire thing to destroy the cycle for good. So it's all dumb. It's all based on something you claim as a theory. Or at least last I talked to you about it, you claimed was a theory. I don't know, I haven't been familiar on Final Fantasy theories in a long time. Well, this isn't a theory. There is no time travel. Does 10 2, well, does 10 2 actually, like, strictly say that Titus never existed? No, because that would technically be a lie. I'm saying, like, the, the Dream Xanakin wasn't a real thing. Like, it, obviously Dream Xanakin exists, we go there, but, like, it is literally just Dream Xanakin. It's not the past of Xanakin. Yes. The oh, wait, story of Aaron, Ten. Then? The story of Ten uh, explains that. Well, hold on. how does how does that explain Aaron then? He goes to Titus to bring him into the air quotes, I guess, future. Aaron died. Aaron is made of pyreflies. Yeah, but how would he be able to? Well, yeah, I guess he also wasn't tied to the far planes either. Yeah. Also, the aeons are also made of. Yeah. And that's how he was able to travel with Sin, Jet. And Titus. Well, I was well, Broska, gonna say was Broska between... a real person that whole time then? Yeah, Broska. He was a real person. Sure. And Jet was his real final... So... This feels like a very unnecessary layer to the story. I feel like time travel would just be a better answer. This is it. It would? But it was written this way. This, this whole story. It's dumb. I don't like it. Alright, Genshin Impact, you win. I'll finally play you again. It all God damn it. Weird, weird they haven't updated the cover art of the game. You think they would with all the DLC that's come out? That's not really DLC, it's mandatory updates. And nothing is technically locked behind DLC. Actually, no, not, that, not even hey. technically. Nothing is. There is hey. no DLC other than the fucking currency. My old man? But you can rather easily farm that. And keep in mind, easy is not saying I quickly. A lot of things. Like where I was, what I got myself into. I Remember, Ryan, the fastest way to level up is explore and open chests. And then, sleepy. I think I had a dream. A dream of being Yeah, that's why it sucks when we play together. You can't open my chest, right? Beside me. I can't, so I but didn't have to feel alone anymore. for that matter, I'm still getting experience for fighting enemies. Yeah, but that's negligible because it's... You'd have to be playing, like, 12-plus hours a day to get anything out of that. Especially when the items to put experience into your characters are so easily farmable. Okay. I got that Genshin Anybody Impact song stuck in my head now. Huh? I've got Cam Steady's right. Genshin Impact song stuck in my head now. I'm not the biggest fan of the hook in it. Yeah, I like the... It, I think in almost all of his songs, his verses are the strongest part. Not that the choruses are bad in any of them, but the verses are always stronger. I've actually got a really funny... I'm writing a... If you don't know, I'm sure you knew this. That genre of rap that he mostly does is called Danger. I did not. 
well, it's called Danger. It's when specifically Screamo falls in, un, under the rap genre, more intertwined with the rap itself than actual Screamo. I'm sure you've noticed that in his genre as well. He's a really big Scream fan. But uh, I'm working I on a I personally song. would argue that what he does is almost more of a yell than a scream. It, it kind of crosses the line, though. You get what I mean. Yeah. That's the whole point, is that the scream crosses more into the rap genre than the actual yeah. genre it comes from. Um, I'm but, uh... going to cheat and not collect all the Albed primers. I think that's perfectly fair. Um, when you collect them all, you get 99... Fuck, what's the item? 100. Underdog Secrets from Rin. That's it? Mm -hmm. That's it. That's... <laughs> you realize Underdog Secrets is the easiest way to mix Hyper Mighty G? I mean, yeah, but doesn't... Oh no, uh, Kamari gets all Mighty G. No, Mighty Guard. Mighty Guard? What's all Mighty G? Is that the weaker version of Super Mighty G? Super Mighty G is the weaker version of Hyper. What's all Mighty G? Is that from a different game? Is all Mighty G a completely unrelated thing I'm making up? I think so. Oh wow, they updated the game's graphics. You think you would have been away from the game for how long now when they wouldn't have updated it? Yeah, well, I mean, like, I wouldn't have expected them to even update the graphics since the game already looked pretty nice. It's mostly just tree textures I'm noticing. Tree textures seem to have more individual leaves. You get wood from anyway. hitting trees now. You can what? You get wood from hitting trees now. I haven't found a use for it. Or maybe I'm just not paying enough attention. Anyway, uh... A lot of his songs, the ad-libs, the funny, you know, one lines that are said at the end of a line when people, you know, say mm -hmm. yeah at the end of a line. A lot of his ad-libs are references to games, other media, and other musicians. And I'm writing my own uh, song in the same genre called Plot Twist. And at the end of one of the lines, uh, I say in the exact same cadence, I, I got a god complex. <laughs> and the, uh, the ad-lib there is going to be... Probably Donnie yelling the word steady. So that's a can's last name. I thought that'd be a cute little reference. Also, by the way, the idea of all my friends not believing I make music and then me dropping a track called Plot Twist. Genius. <laughs> the plot twist is that it was all true. I. It would have. Okay. It would have been absolute hell to do this, and I would have gotten so much shit for doing it, but I wanted to get back in contact with Sarah. Because she used to do singing for me when she worked for the studio, and I'm not sure if you know all the BS drama that went on with her in our group, but uh, she no. basically ghosted the entire group. No one's been able to get in contact with her. I wanted to go through the trouble of getting in contact with her to have her do the chorus of the song. I really, really wanted to, but that's a lot of work, and I don't, I really don't want to deal with the drama that would come up from her coming back around. You gonna join me in Genshin? Uh, that would imply. Actually, yeah, I just saved. Bye, stream.